it's a uh, thoughtful long-range planning. It would be a thoughtful uh, uh, long-range policy because basically it protects the health and safety of our residents. position is indicative of a lot of people uh, on this issue. You know, he talks about putting pressure on New York State because they're the ones who ultimately have a decision. Well, don't ask your state representatives in Amherst because the current state senator and current assemblymen are pro-fracking. And like a lot of people on this issue, instead of making a decision, they want to delay and say, we need more time to study it. You know, this town board in 2010, I believe, unanimously passed a resolution that I sponsored to make sure we don't treat fracking food that are wastewater treatment plants, even though it's by 2012, even though it's biologically based treatment plants, and the odds are we would not treat chemicals there, why take the chance? What we do is not only symbolic, as Councilman Marlott said, but it has a practical effect. It, it, it sets the culture, it creates a culture in this town that you know, environment is extremely important. Environment over profits every day, and symbolism leads to practical use, leads to a practical uh, application of our laws. So well, I'm happy to support the supervisor's resolution. I'm also going to submit my resolution, which is not my resolution, it's the people's resolution they brought forward. I hope that passes in some way, shape, or form. And if Councilman Mar Marlette is true as word, he usually is, if we even just send that to the attorney, at least it's recognition of the hard work, the hard work that you did. You've been on this issue a lot longer than any of us have. So uh, hopefully we're, we are in the right direction, and I pledge to the residents that you know, my goal will be to get a strong local law, hopefully the strongest local law in New York that you can then use as a template, as a model to use in other municipalities in the states. Yeah.